Ignition! No! <gasps> what? I have been loving like every second of this game, man. Every second in this game. Why the beast has the appetite of a behemoth? Just this very morn, I found him with his nose buried in my nuts. <laughs> Run away! I'm trying to run back! Why are you running at him? Stop running at him! <laughs> I don't want to fight him! Okay, here we go. Dude, how's the game? It's literally like you're playing a movie. It's amazing. Like, actually incredible. Fight the castle gates at once. Thank you, Colonel Jack. You beat it? I'm I'm like booking it, dude. Dude, I was Square I got early access, so I was playing yesterday and and Square messaged Square messaged us saying Hey, that's fan, pump the brakes. You're playing too much. You're getting through too much of the game before the game released. So I had to stop playing because I was making too much progress. Those fuckers really went to town on this place. Almost like they want to wipe it off the map. Just a means to an end. All this for one man? They didn't have to go so far. If you keep your wits about you, I reckon you can make it up to the castle without raising the alarm. I'll sniff out any townsfolk who haven't escaped yet and send them on the way. Be careful. Likewise. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. I had a gamer subs. Hashtag that. Thank the gifter. S Fan TV, thank you for gifting us up to Super Lost 89. <gasps> Wait. We have a little audio desync. There we go. Wait, S Fan gifted me a sub. I'm gonna go watch those I private know. VODs now. Wait, did I gift the sub it's and lose like a nightmare. Viewer? This was our home. Come on, Clive. We have to keep going. Okay, here we go. An invasion. It's a massacre. He'll stop at nothing, Clive. Nothing. Stop at nothing. <laughs> Why? Why? Just end thing for eight months. Wait, I was gone 10 minutes and the city is in a massacre? What happened? Hey, welcome to Final Fantasy. Here it is, dude. Haptic feedback, gate opening. Protect. 
Some opponents will cast protect spells to raise a defensive barrier around their allies and shield them from melee attacks. When engaging protected targets identified by a shield icon above their heads, avoid using your sword. Uh, and instead employ magic to quickly and efficiently dispel the barrier. Maybe I will. It's not the rest. There's only one fitting punishment. <laughs> Okay, look at the combo. You guys ready? This is what I've been doing. This is what I got figured out. Whoa, likes. Any gifters like hard Lightning rod. Gouge. Pile drive. Nice parry. Nice, mortal blow. I can't see anything. Hey, welcome to Final Fantasy. Okay, my build is disgusting. You guys can't even see anything. That's how it works. Okay, where to now? Okay, we're going there. I yield, I yield. Yield. Dude, this game is brutal. These guys are dead, they're just still. Gentlemen. You won't escape. Nice, they're all dead. Jill's just sitting there watching, dude. Jill's literally just standing there, freaking cast a spell every six minutes. Isn't that actually playing a game? I play more games than anybody, okay? Except for Soda Pop. This has been an enjoying game, dude. I'm in love with this game. I am I am I adore this game. It's amazing. Deadly Embrace? Oh, oh, oh. Frick. Hello, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Will the likes? Uh, lightning rod? Yes! What a limit break. I lost my combo here. Yeah, I, I had no abilities up. Dude, I'm just reeling this dude. Ignition! Rising flames! Twenty-two thousand damage. Let's go, dude. Dude, I, I'm dude. I'm telling you, I've figured out the combos, man. I've, I've like, the build. This build I came up with is so sick, dude. And my limits back. Can you show us your amazing build? I showed it a little bit earlier, but I'll, I'll show you the combo in a second. Okay. So here's how this works. Minus thirty-eight. Okay, true. Uh, yeah, Kyle. True, true, true. Okay, so I go in, I go Will of the Wikes, and I drop the lightning rod. After I do that, I go into a gouge. Right? Now, normally I would do this against the lightning rod, and then once I do, I go back here and I pile drive them, and then I do an ignition. And the ignition carries these guys, 
and then I do a Rising Flames. So if I do that in a stagger, I'm looking at over 20,000 damage. You have a lot of theory guys to do with the Titan? Yeah, true. Set her loose. They have a cut. Are you wiping out village people? Yeah. We hate. We hate the YMCA. Attack! Wait, I have ignition twice? Are you sure? Oh, I don't think so. Okay, here we go. Now we test the build on a boss. Okay. Get him. Nice precision dodge, precision counter, magic burst, parry, magic burst, full. Oh yes! Four times magic burst, big. Nice precision dodge times two. Ah, oh, frick. Precision dodge, good. Nice. Nice precision dodge times four, counter, magic burst. Okay, okay, here it is. So now. Wait. Frick, I screwed up, I screwed up, I screwed up, I screwed up. Hold on. I want to do the, I'm going for the full combo here, so I'm going to stall for a second. I'm just going to stall because he's about to stagger, he's about to stagger. Oh, frick. Okay, well that was a bad stagger. Or a bad stall. Okay, so lightning rod into this, into ignition, into gouge. Rising flames, 27,000 stagger damage. Dude, a huge man. It's building up to something. Uh oh, press the attack. Okay, limit break. It's a, it's a it's a DPS race. Okay, good, good. Then let's make this count. One, two, nice precision, ignition, hot and fresh out the kitchen. Unless he walks right into it. Yes, perfect, perfect, perfect. Big damn, big damn, huge damn. Scarlet Cyclone, Rising Flames. 24k damage on the stagger, dude. Oh, Fred needed that. Oh. Frick! Nice try. Precision dodge times two? Well, the likes. Ignition! Yeah! That was sick, dude. Frick, man, this game is so fun, dude. And just boom, 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 freaking combos, dude. It's so good. This game's amazing. Oh, the combat just, it, dude, the combat is unreal, man. The combat is actually completely unbelievable. Ah. Jill! 
Wait, what? The All that and you get caught? Said, or should I say Lord Rosfield? I've been looking for you for a very long time. Let her go, Kuka. <laughs> I'm so glad you accepted my invitation. I went to some trouble with the decorations. Do you like what I've done with the place? Bastard. <laughs> I actually Such will play Devil May Cry 5 at some point. couldn't join us, but I am sure you will prove compelling company. <laughs> Be still, little snowflake. I would not have you melt before your suffering moment. <laughs> Oh, frick. How do those shackles yeah. contain an icon? On to the festivities. Probably oh, disrupts ether, yeah. Torgo! Doggy! That is. I suppose it's up to me then. <sighs> Dude, it'd be so funny if it made us control Gav. No more than she deserves for getting into bed with an outlaw. <laughs> we should get into mine. <laughs> Lord Kupka commands your presence. You're to bear witness to the girl's execution. Such a waste. <laughs> Joshua? Gav! Let's go! Gav! Saving the day! Crystal fetters are a bastard to open, just so you know. Don't worry, I'll have them off before you can blink. Where's Jill? In the courtyard. Shit. <sighs> we have to hurry. The Imperials have sounded the retreat and cleared out of the castle. But the place is still swarming with Kubka's men. If it kept you waiting, though. Leave them to me. I'll make my way up top and circle round the back. Quick as you like, eh? Nearly forgot. Hold on, Jill. I'm coming. I have to get to the courtyard. Which was the courtyard? 
<laughs> just like, he's just losing his mind. Urgency, urgency. Wait, I wonder. Oh, it lets you do that? Okay. The RP is that you can have Torgal sniff out where you're don't gonna you go, but die. we don't have Torgal with us. I was gonna see if it let us go. Potions, potions. Is there any more loot here before I go save her? Dude, I really hope they don't kill Jill. They've killed so many characters in this game. Men of the Rock are what these people oh, are called. You've got a plan, Clive, because we are fucked if you don't. And a problem, Aggie Creed. <gasps> Torgal. Torgal. Get him. Whoa, what the frick? He just exploded all over them. Wait, so Torgal's an icon too. So he is Fenrir. Can you stand? Come, come, Lord Rosfield. Don't tell me you tire of my entertainment. Enough! Yes. Perhaps it is time you <laughs> served the main repast. Ah, here we go. You are hungry! Oh, I'm starving. Eat this? Dude, frickin' turtle ulted. Stay close. We're getting out of here. Here we go. And Togul, thank you. Okay, will of the wikes. Lightning rod. With me. That includes you. Republican battle hound. Wait, my limit break is back again already? Ignition. Into gouge. Dude, staggered again? Lightning rod. Dude, this is actually crazy, dude. You basically beat the game. <laughs> dude, I, my build is insane. My combo leads into another limit break. Big gouge. Dude, I'm just chain staggering multiple people at a time. This is insane. Can you guys even see what's happening? Precision dodge. Oh, frick. Nice, dude. 
that was so damn satisfying. It's over. For now. But I bet that wasn't the last of them. And they won't stop hunting us until Kubka's dead. So you get in there and finish the job, eh? Go on. Didn't Max do come after this? If they I'm come sure. again, we'll hold them back. Actually. All right. But be careful. Yeah, I'm unsure. Kupka took our home, Clive. Don't let him take yours. Don't worry about us. Go. Oh, here we go. Oh, they got your back. Okay. I promise you, Sid. You'll die by my hand. Gotta push harder. Kuka. Wait, wait, hold on. I see cutscenes. Hold on. You're hold. late. We're good. Trouble on the way. Just enjoy got 20 your minutes. entertainment. How gratifying. Casual S and some <laughs> Have you come to defend your father's throne, Lord Rosfield? <laughs> the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. A realm without a ruler, an army, even a people. A veritable kingdom of dust. Truly, I see no throne to defend. No! Enough of your games, Kupka. Just yeah. tell me what you want. Sid's head in a box. Imagine my disappointment when I learned that he met his end at the hand of another. And my relief to learn that you had taken up his thrice damned name. Wait, what? Your master slew Benedicta Harmon and defiled her body. If you choose to bear that murderer's name, then you shall answer for his crimes. The only crimes I shall answer for are my own. Sid did everything in his power to save that woman, though she was long past saving. And so I did what he couldn't. It was me all along, Hugo. It was you. You. You killed her. I did. Deserved. Then I am fortunate indeed. I had thought the most I could wish for was to take the life of one he loved, just as he did to me. But it seemed I was wrong. And I shall have my revenge. Okay, here we go, chat. Big Who Titan fight coming. Dream? I would be the king of the world. Big Titan fight. She would be my queen. And together, we would rule like the gods we are. But you crushed that dream. Ground into dust. 
Ignition! Gouging into him? Oh, frick. Precision dodge? Precision counter? Precision dodge again? Oh, frick. Frickin' got sledgehammered. Nice. Precision dodge twice? Times two? Roll the likes? Precision dodge? Ignition! Nice. Oh, I don't have really- I don't really have anything. Okay, I'm gonna- I'm just gonna limit break this. Okay, that actually worked out pretty good. Honestly, for what it was. Oh, frick. Okay. Dude, this game is, it, dude, it's legit like I'm playing a movie. Oh no, cinematic dodge. Ooh, I was this close. Nice. Did I just scratch my ear? Wait, did I knock the Titan out of him? Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Forehead. The world has chosen. I am in my element. That's no escape. What the hell? The earth will always be mine. To mine. Oh my gosh. Nice, will the wikes right into it? Then you get surgery. Oh, frick. Precision dodge. In the counter. Ugh. Okay, high potion. Okay. Yeah, really high potion. Oh, 
spiked twice. Dude, this is actually a very hard fight. I basically haven't died yet, yet in this game. And I'm running really low on juice. I, I need a limit break, dude, honestly. Charge a little bit. Good work. I need to not. You shouldn't dodge away from that one. You should dodge towards it. Nice big parry. Okay, huge. Big ignition. Huge ignition. Big gouge. One potion left, man. Nice dodge out of it. Flint lash into this. Oh my gosh, shoot, I'm freaking, it's a real fast dude. My potion, I'm out of potions. finish. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, dude, that sucks. 26,000 damage? Limit break out of it? Will the like again? Precision dodge? Harry! 
Will the like? Rising flames! Into the Amiibo! Scarlet Cyclone! This is it, this is the kill! Ignition! No! There it is! Dude, that was so sick, man. These fights are so good, man. These fights are amazing. These fights are amazing, man. It's so fun. What a freaking rush, dude. What a rush. Might not be over yet. Hey, uh, ads towards the six by the way. So, just that's up. I'll probably pause to, to make sure the ad runs before the next fight. Dude. <gasps> what? What? Dude, this game is just gruesome, dude. Yeah. Classic. Son of a whore! <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he's turning into Titan. Wait, what? What's happening? Wait, what? Yeah, but it didn't look like whenever you normally steal their powers, you normally you put their hand on them. Right? I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> Left for five minutes, what happened to his hands? You cannot leave when you're watching the stream, okay? Wait, what? There, there. You mustn't get yourself worked out. Who is this? Wait! What? Another time, Mythos. Mythos? He literally just got his hand sliced off. By the way. So he's gonna live? Is that all of them? I think so. Well, Luda scum. Who the fuck invited them? Smile. Not that that's the biggest surprise we've had to do. Where did you learn to do that toggle? <coughs> Not telling, eh? Suit yourself. Gav. We have to find Clive. Right, sorry. <laughs> nice. You missed one. We were worried. Dude, they just have blood spatter all over them. <laughs> Nothing personal, kid. Dang, dude. Dude, I'm telling you, man, this game is absolutely amazing. This game is unreal. I, I have been loving, like, every second of this game, man. Every second of this game. I was so close. If it hadn't been for my gift, Live chat? I would have finished Thanks for the, thing for the dollar karma, sorry. I'm just glad you got out of there alive. 
When did the Thank you again, for little hack. Thank you, man. Right after you went inside. Just when we thought we were shot of Titans, lot. In pile Odins. Not enough of them to worry us, though. No. You didn't see the one who took Kukra away. So, what? You think they came here to save him? Well, I'll be fucked if I know what's going on, but every minute we spend racking our brains, that bastard's getting further away. So what do we do? We go back to the hideaway. I'm too tired to think. As are you, by the looks of it. And after what Jill's been through. Let's worry about Kuka later, shall we? Aye. All right. Well, give us a chance to solve the riddle of your magic mug, Yo, too. Yo, fandom living this new four-year badge. Can't wait for the new five years soon. Yeah. How you feeling? Ready to go home? Thank you. Zoop, thanks for the 55 months, man. Skippy, thank you for the four months tier one. I didn't hear that earlier. Thank you, Skippy. Mirza, th Mirza, thank you for the 10 months. Power of the Earth. Clive has claimed a portion of the Icon Titan's essence. Attuning with Titan not only changes the elemental aspect of Clive's magic spells, but also allows access to several new iconic abilities, such as Wind Up, a singular strike that increases in potency when charged. Ability details are found on the abilities tab in the main menu. Okay, so we got Titan. Titan's feet. Titan's iconic feet, Titanic block, can be used to fend off most incoming attacks. Using square immediately after a perfectly time precision block will initiate a devastating counter. Okay. Okay. So we have Titan now. So what does this mean? We have three icon slots. Raging Fists. Raging Fist with Lightning Rod. I'm starting to think that I actually don't need Lightning Rod and I think Lightning Rod might be causing problems for me. And if I don't need Lightning Rod, then that means I don't really need Pile Drive or Thunderstorm. Now Judgment Bolt is kind of nasty because it's just one big boom. Abandoning Vibrator, it's not, okay. So we're gonna mix this build up a little bit, okay? We might go back to this ability. Yeah, I think the stagger multiplier caps at 1.5. That's exactly why I'm like, okay, maybe maybe we don't go with that. So in that case, let's let's run Titan. And we go Will of the Wikes. Also, Raging Fists will stack it too, to be fair. Actually, ruining the build. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Ideally, in like 500 ability points, I get Lightning Rod Mastery, and then I and I completely swap out of Blind Justice, and I and I bring Garuda back here. So I go Garuda, Will of the Wikes. Lightning Rod. You remember Big Dick Damage? The biggest of dick. Ignition, Raging Fists, into Rising Flames, Wind Up, and just oh, boom. That's the play. Okay, so let's continue. Why, uh, why are you splitting the fire moves off Phoenix and Titan? Okay, so the reason I'm splitting the moves is because those moves I'm comboing together. Like I'm hitting them one after another, and it's easier to hit them one after another uh, like that than it is to like swap back, like keep swapping pages. So that's, that's why I'm doing it that way. Okay, here we go. So, is now a good time. All right, good night, little hack. We'll see you later, dude. All right, it's up. I didn't that one. How's Jill doing? Oh, she's been better. Ty is making sure she gets the rest she needs. Good. Any word on Kupka's movements? Vivian's doing all she can to try and track him, but she's feeding on scraps. We've sent owls out to the Curse Breakers and their other friends in the West, asking them to keep their eyes peeled for anything unusual. No leads yet, but it's only a matter of time. Ready? Three, two, right. Let me know when you find something. There he is. All right.
right, Clive? Still busy saving the world? Mid. When did you get back? Mm, just now. What about your studies? Adjourned. Since Hugo Kupka invaded Rosalia. Her name is Mid? All the canvas in uproar about it. He's gone mad. He's turned rogue. It'll be us next. You try concentrating with all of that. All right, all right. You win. How long will you be staying this time? Don't know. A while, most likely. Any road while I'm here. I was any road? Who says any road? You can't just expect me to. Please oblige her. I'm obliging. I'm obliging. While we are busy tracking down Kupka, you should have a little time to spare. Professor, now there's a face I haven't seen in a while. Should you have it buried in a dusty old tome? <laughs> I did. Till a familiar trill pricked my ears. Bad translation. No. As ever, your exuberance this is, this is game a was written of fresh in English air, first. Which successfully scattered the painstakingly assembled fragments of my thoughts. I'll take that as a compliment. Well, Clive, you heard the professor. So, I'll meet you in the story and when you're done. Well, hold on. Well, hold on, me. Breath of fresh air. Bloody tempest, more like. Oi, Otto, you got my gill. Huh? What are you all about? My fee for bringing Mid across. She said you were paying. That little. <laughs> A storm, was it? Nice. What's up, Zenoflex? I'm doing really good, dude. I hope you're doing good too, man. You guys ready? Chat, we're gonna beat the game in the next 30 minutes. You took your time. I'm a busy man, mate. What did you say? I'll get to the point then. I want to turn the room down there into a workshop like the one I had at Dad's. Oh, frick, I forgot to grab water. Mate, you've only just come back. And? I've been thinking about it for a while. Dad said I had a knack for engineering. Told me everything he knew about it, then sent me off to Canva to learn everything he didn't. That was his dream for me, that one day I'd put my studies to use for the good of the cause. But I'm helping no one stuck at school. I've studied enough. It's time I put my knack to work. I know that I can help the people here, and I want to do it. Well, well, well. If sick could see you now, all right? I'll tell Otto you'll be staying. I knew you'd say yes, which is why I wrote up a list of jobs for you. For me? Who else? <sighs> what do you want me to do? First things first, I need equipment and materials to start making my own. There's the designs for the stuff I need and the stuff it needs smithing from. The other materials I can work myself. Just need a generous benefactor to lay them on for me. Apart from the wood, I'll need a carpenter for that, but I can just borrow yours. Is that everything? For now. I'll let you know if I need out else. <sighs> Where to start? Materials and tools. That means Karen and Blackthorn. Oh, here we go. Here's Karen again. I was again. wondering where you got to. Fixed back Karen, from dude. Canva. Have you seen her? Just now. She's planning to set up a workshop in the stores and ask me to buy her some materials. Here's the list. List of materials? Think you can find everything on there? This slot would be much of a trader if I couldn't. They use me as the character model for all the guys. As for payment, it's paid. Hundred times over by what that girl's done for us. If it weren't for her filters, we'd have not to drink but blight water, and that would have drained. Oh, I just the noticed her eyes. Long ago. Indeed, it would. I'll send the stuff on to Mid when it comes in. Thank you, Karen. Blackthorn, you busy? What's it look like? <laughs> I have yes. a commission for you, from Mid. She requires certain tools. Do 
think you can make them? Bloody hell. Was she planning to build with this stuff? An airship? Yeah. I'll see what I can do. Tell her I'll bring them over when I'm done. <sighs> My thanks. And mids, no doubt. That just leaves the carpenter. Let's see if Bardolph's available. I wish, I wish, I wish Clyde's weapon was like cool. How are you still playing your beast? Dude, I'm just a freaking grind mode dude. All, all day, every day. With a good oil. Sometimes. Good. <laughs> all day, every day, sometimes. Should be enough to keep us. How do, Master Sid? Bardolph. Mid's looking to build a workshop in the storeroom. And she needs the aid of a skilled carpenter. So naturally, I thought of you. Well, I'd love to help the young miss however I can. But I'm afraid I got my hands full just keeping this place afloat. There's holes need patching, and if I don't patch them, will all of us sink into the mere? I'd gladly spare mid all the time I have, but the sad truth is, I ain't got none. <sighs> I see. Yeah, like a don't cooler have to sword. Be me, though, does it? Honestly, maybe what about a that other fella? Sword, like it was thicker. You know, the one over at Martha's Rest. Bernard, was it? Bernard. That's right. And he is a friend of the cause. I'll ask Martha if she can spare him. But his armor is freaking sort of. <laughs> Least I could do. His armor is like Omega sick. But his like uh I just wish his sword was like bigger. Like the characters from Final Fantasy VII. Like why was Final Fantasy so good as the characters? But I think part of what made the characters so good is not just the story of the characters. I think part of what made the characters so good was also just how they were designed, like how they looked. Like Barrett with his gun arm. Cloud's buster sword, right? Just like iconic weapons. Like just a massive, massive sword. Like this, this sword is like, it's almost like, it's too small to really like see the details. Ah, Clive, what brings you to the rest? Uh, it's sick, don't get me wrong. Home but finds itself in need of an bigger, extra carpenter. I wondered if I might be able to borrow Bernard for a short while. I don't mind if he don't. We're all friends here, aren't we? Thank you, Martha. Do you know where I might find him? He went up to Cressida on business. No idea what, mind. Place is a ruin. Far as I know, he's still there. I'll look for him there, then. If it ain't the lad who saved my life. What brings you to a place like this? You do, Bernard. Martha said I might find you here. I have a proposition for you. Oh, do you know? Building a workshop, you say? Well, that beats tacking boards to bridges, sure enough. And if Martha didn't mind me being gone a while, then neither do I. You just tell me where you want me. <laughs> That's the spirit. I, uh, I couldn't ask a favor, though, could I? Before we go? Of course. Well, that there is Cressida, where I grew up. Ain't much left of it now, though. Except my parents' graves. But I, I came up here hoping to visit. I even patched up the bridge to get across. Only to find the place crawling with thieves. <sighs> but you're a dab hand when it comes to dealing with beasts and bogles, ain't you? Can I, Ernie Johnson? You could, uh... It's the least I can do. You want for Father's Summer Make? Yeah, I'll do it Thank before rebirth again. And take care. But yeah, you also still do chat interaction after 12 hours. It's super gig chat. Yeah, man. Where would one start their Final Fantasy adventure? So, the good thing about the Final Fantasy games, Leonix, is this shouldn't take long. none of the games are even, uh, well, almost none of the games uh, are, are, like, I like coherent. Cohesive. 
but basically the idea is um, where is he? Oh, right here. Uh, basically, each each Final Fantasy is its own story, and, and they don't even relate to each other at all. Like, there's some of the characters might have similar names or the same names as like an Easter egg. That's it. Yeah, the only ones that do are like their actual like. Spinners. Your enemies again? What rings you got? Dude, this thing freaking just railed me, dude. Nice! Precision block! Go to likes. Nice. Fire and flame. Dude, what is happening? To me, boy. Dude. I screwed up all my combo, man. Dude, I have no health left. To me, boy. Oh my gosh, dude. I had no health left. That was so scary. I almost died, dude. I was freaking... Oh my gosh. I had no potions going into that. That should do it. Dude. Dude, that was so stressful, dude. You made short work of that lot. Thank you, son. Now my folks can rest in peace once more. That was How crazy. Was since the village was abandoned. Oh, people started packing their things after the duchy fell. Between the blight and the Imperials, you just couldn't make ends meet. Must be nigh on a decade since the last wagon left. Oh, it may as well have been a century, looking at the place. This isn't the Cressida I remember. I'm sorry. Ah, don't be. Can't live in the past, no matter how nice it might have been. Soon as I'm done saying a prayer for those that raised me, it's on to your hideaway. I'll meet you there. Uh, chat, what's the best way to summarize what's happened since we, we met Ultima? then I am I've placed your various orders and a carpenter by the name of Bernard is on his way from Martha's rest that's brilliant thanks Clyde is there anything else you need nope Blackthorn and Lady Karen have already sent over everything I asked for and I've got all my plans drawn up 
So as soon as Bernard gets here, we can get to work. <laughs> I can't wait. The Breath of Earth reduces wind-up cooldown time by three seconds. I... I feel like three I seconds like reduced thing. cooldown is really bad. Day done. Let's see how Jill's faring. Ah, Clive. Talia. How's Jill? Recovering, but she still needs her rest. Of course. Huge raid. Take good care of her, won't you? I'll Sick. do my best. Oh, Gav was looking for you. He said he had something to show you in the shelves. The shelves? Oh, that's right. He went to ask Hippocrates about Togor. He must have found something. Been up to their old tricks again. Yeah, it's all good, so it's Appreciate it, thanks, dude. Clive, where have you been? I've been wanting to ask you something about Toggle. Where did you get him? Like, in the first place? Uh, my father brought him back from one of his expeditions into the Northern Territories. They were crossing a snowfield when they heard his cries, and seeing no sign of his pack, they took him in. What do you reckon, Tomes? It certainly adds weight to the theory. Clive, I believe that Torgal may be no mere hound, but a rare frost wolf. An animal native to the far northern reaches of Valisthea. In one of our oldest bestiaries, I found reference to a frost wolf who served as guardian to an frost ancient wolf. queen of the north. Such was his mastery over ether, he could cast magics on command. A frost his wolf, name huh? Was Fenrir. Fenrir. Okay, there we go. The frost wolf. There it is, dude. The annals do not state it explicitly. The annals. But I have reason to believe this queen was a dominant of Shiva, a girl from the Northern Territories and her faithful hound. One awakens as the dominant of Shiva, and the other... You're saying that Jill granted Toggle his powers? What? Just like Fenrir. People called him my hound, but... Torgal and Jill were inseparable. Oh. He grew up as a faithful companion to the dominant of Shiva, and years later, his powers awakened, just when his master needed him the most. You're right. If it weren't for Torgal blasting those bastards to kingdom come, Jill would have been for it. Quite. Though Torgal's power is his own, his latent birthright as a Frostwolf. It had only to be unlocked. Oh, get you, Torgal. <laughs> so Torgal was a frost wart. And regarding your original concern, you need not fear for Torgal's health. Why, the beast has the appetite of a behemoth. Just this very morn, I found him with his nose buried in my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere for you, Bernadette. I need you to introduce us so we can get to work. I shall be hurt. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> they 100% did that on purpose, dude. They 100% did that on purpose. Dude, that is so funny, dude. That's so funny. Amazing. 
Dude, there's another quest in the game called Cock and Ball. I'm like, dude, these guys, dude. How goes the hunt for Kupka? Largely in circles. We have myriad sightings of strange soldiers in unexpected places, but nothing definitive as yet. If only we knew for certain by what route he left Rosalith. Well, keep at it. It's fantastic. If anyone can piece this puzzle together, it's you. Yo, what's up, Cosmo Jr.? I'm willing to wait as long as it takes. What? Here? Would that be a problem? Do you know, Clive? I believe it a mercy that you didn't inherit your father's throne. Your poor people would surely live in fear of you. <laughs> you have nothing to worry about on that front. I won't be claiming his crown. <laughs> that is a relief. Uh, Clive, have you got a minute? We, um, have a guest. A guest? For your trouble. It was a pleasure, in hindsight. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Byron? Uncle Byron? Drive, my boy! There he is. Tap a cask and stoke the ovens for your favorite uncle is here. <laughs> Meanwhile. Thanks for the 37 months, Cosmo Jono. Seat of the Imperial Court. The Dalmechian government sues for peace. How shall we respond? If they're willing to accept their fault in the matter, I see no reason to refuse them. Still, uh, we must insist on substantial reparations. The twin side stores are not as bottomless as reported. Aye. And we have many more mouths to feed. We shall just have to have the Dalmex empty their treasuries for us. Of course, none of this would have been possible without your timely intervention, Prince Olivier. Indeed, I doubt any of us would have had the courage to trade words with the mighty Titan, nor less the wit to win him over. The Empire is like petting him. Dead. May the blessing of the crystals go with you, Your Highness. May the blessing of the crystals go with you. Very good. Now, let us come to the question of precisely when the Dalmex will withdraw their troops. Dion's fire could rid us of them in mere moments. The ant from Gimbal. The men of the fist will not withdraw until a peace treaty is The completed. men of the fist. So let us keep the negotiations open, give them time to gather what gold and trinkets they can. And once they deliver that which we demand, what worth is a piece of parchment? Your Radiance, were Prince Dion to take the field, the enemy would surely send their own dominant to meet him. And while His Highness would of course prevail, there would be heavy losses on both. You need not fear Hugo Kupka. He is engaged on the Western Front. Even were the Dalmex to send for him, he would not <laughs> arrive in time. As much as I would enjoy witnessing a clash between Bahamut and Titan, it is not to be. And what of your subjects, your radiance? There will be losses, it is true. 
Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. The empire will live on. Dion? Yes, sir. Interesting. Why does this guy always smell flowers? Is he stupid? Prepare for battle. But sire... Do not make me repeat myself. Return to your camp and await my orders. If that is your wish... Is that Bahama? Ladies, I don't think we have any way of knowing. I shall depart at once. the astrologer's auger. The stars are in agreement, your radiance. The shadow of treachery hangs over Prince Dion. Prince Dion? Dion Sanders. So Annabella's tales were true. You disappoint me, Dion. Well, yeah, dude. The thing with the, with the thing with the little boy is weird. What on earth is Uncle Byron doing here? Only one way to find out. Personal thought. Ah, my dear nephew, how I've missed you. Here it is, Byron. <laughs> How did you find this place? Prom, thanks for the 61 months. What's up, dude? The good offices of young Sir Wade. He really is the most helpful fellow. As are you, I hear. Huge. The guardians and those they freed tell the most outlandish tales of your heroics in Rosalith. Which is why I came to learn the full truth of the matter. Sort the fact from the fiction, so to speak. You were working with the Guardians of the Flame to evacuate the people of Rosalith to Port Isolde. I was. I... I was. Then I have questions for you. Please, come inside, Uncle. Gladly. Uh, you there? <laughs> there are 2,000 gold talents in those chests. See that they're added to my nephew's coffers, would you? 2,000? Thousand. And I'm afraid that is all I know. A fleet sailing south past Port Isolde. Most intriguing. Forgive me for not being able to tell you more. I hadn't the faintest idea Coco withdrew wounded from Rosalith. Still less that my own nephew dealt the decisive blow. What do you think, Vivian? I think, with this news of the Dalmechian fleet and recent reports of the Royalists' movements, that the final piece of the puzzle has fallen into place. Come here and I'll show you. Okay. I'm being shown, I'm being shown. 
It is known that Kupka's forces entered Rosaria via its unguarded coast. So can the same be said of your visitors from Walud? From Walud? Certainly, her royal navy is famed for the efficiency with which it bears her knights from one battlefield to the next. And in the Ein Heyar, or Black Galleon, she boasts a vessel nigh as swift, and every bit as feared as the kingdom's legendary cavalry. A fitting flagship for a land apart, her naval presence being crucial to her ambitions beyond Ash. Yes, it seems safe to assume that the Royalists did indeed enter Rosaria from the sea. So then, had you a vested interest in Titan's survival, whither would you take him? Why home to Drake's Fang, a place rich enough in ether to conjure the magics needed to mend his hurts? But would that not entail an arduous voyage around the Southern Cape? Let us say that the Royalists did put ashore with a mind to spirit Kupka away from under your very nose. Could that truly have been their plan for him? To load him aboard one of the ships flying Republican colors sighted off the coast near Port Isolde. To spend weeks at sea, being tossed hither and yon by unforgiving waves, his life hanging in the balance. No. The journey would mean Titan's death, and Kupka's faithful creatures would not allow it. So what then was the plan of our Waluda friends? Reports suggest they made not for the coast, but for the desert. And by cutting through the Velcroy, a party traveling light would have Titan back in his bed days before a galley could lurch into port. To wit, it was the Royalists not the Republicans who effected Hugo Kupka's safe retreat. I would stake your life on it. So it was the Waluders who spirited the wretch away. Typical Waluders, dude. Now I think about it, there was something a little strange about the ships I saw. The men seemed almost crestfallen, as if in mourning, as if they believed, or were made to believe, that their master was dead. <laughs> you have a keen mind, Lord Rosfield. And you I have do. your answer. To find Kupka, you have merely to follow the royalist trail across the Velcroy. It may well have gone cold by now, but as they say in the Republic, all roads lead to Drake's Fang. All roads. Allow me to accompany you part of the way. As luck would have it, I had intended to journey Candlewood on business after visiting you here. The Fang would be but a short detour. I'd be glad of the company. Give me a moment to make ready. I need to tell my friends what we've learned and where we're going. Very well, but be quick about it, my boy. Time waits for no man. Wait, is this not good? Should I change it? You guys don't like this? You guys like the camera like this, or is it too much? This man is like a dad that learned about Instagram filters. <laughs> it's finished outfit, no little workshop on. Otto, Kupka's at Drake's Fang. I'll be leaving before sunset. You're not going in there alone, are you? Don't worry. Uh, is that better? I'm not going there to destroy the Mother Crystal. All I'm after is Kupka's head. I won't risk any more than I have to. I promise. The lands around the Fang are all Kupka's personal fiefdom. You have any trouble on the way, you ask for Rosina Dalamil, son caller, the Desert Hare. Who is she? Somebody's gonna come into my stream for the first time. What the hell is happening here? Sits. Chat, type no one of this is your first time here ever. All I know is the name and that they used to meet at the Dalamil Inn. We've heard nothing from her since he died. But I'm thinking maybe the new Sid might be able to bring her back into the fold. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. So, uh, what about your uncle? I, I mean, he's welcome to stay, but... Don't look so worried. He'll be coming with me. Thank fuck for that. Gav, Otto, I'm leaving you two in charge. You can count on us. I'm gonna make it to where, like, it 
filters are set up just for you guys. <laughs> so, so you guys can... <laughs> Look like Jay Leno. <laughs> I should set it up to where you guys can turn on and turn off filters. It requires drawing as Persians. All right, Uncle. I'm ready to depart. Shall we? We shall. Come, let us away to adventure. I'm listening? No, we're going away to adventure. I'm listening. Young man, when last I walked this path. There's an old trading post not far from here. The road to Drake's Fang leads through it. The trading post it is. Dog would overeat in five seconds. No, but the dog gives off ice. You know, oh my gosh, it's so Our bright. Destination dude. lies over that dune beyond the ruins. Mark them well, Clive. It's all too easy to lose one's bearings in the sands. Fine work, my boy. You bring nuts for the dog? Uh, no, I guess he's gonna have to find his own. Years ago, when you were just a boy, you and I rode this way. Accompanying your father on a scouting expedition to Great he let me come with you. I'm not surprised you don't remember. It was just before Joshua was born. You were so eager to be there when your brother arrived that you whipped your chocobo too hard on the journey home and fell from the saddle. I shall never forget how. Dude, the, 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 the uncle's dialogue is good. The good old Dalamil Inn. Do you know, this heat has given me quite a thirst. Uh, quick drink before we press on? No. Charge my other controller. Look there. Those are ashen steeds. No doubt about it. And such a long ride from Stone here. Our Waluda friends must be soothing their saddle sores in the inn. Shall we join them? <laughs> Run along and play now, Torgal. Dogs aren't allowed inside. Yeah. 
nice hair man. Thanks, Beepa's nasty. Thank you for the five months, thanks, dude. It's fan, please marry me. I can't have a doctor's appointment. Thank you, though. Dude, my head looks small now. When my head is normal, it looks small now. Good day to you. Eating? <laughs> Sorry about my pal. He only talks when his mouth's full. What do you recommend? Well, if you're after something light, we do a fine chocobo soup with lentils and honey. Two bowls of that, then. And ale. Right you are. Hey, go! Coming! Your pal? Would you rather be my squire? It is plain you are not yet well enough to Dude, travel. The freaking all, you all these guys are just coughing up blood all the better time. Better attend to your ills. No, we must press on. Prince Dion has returned to his camp and will soon depart for the front. I must speak with him at all costs. Miss this chance, and I may never get another. You do understand that. Yes, Your Grace. You must at least agree to take your medicine. I'll fetch you some water. <sighs> oh, my neck. Did my neck's kind of getting owned. Keep watch, they tell us. But all I see is sand. I hear they got our guest back to the Fang without any trouble. We'll be leaving soon enough. Why the Lord Commander dragged us all this way just to save that blockhead skin, I'll never know. Dominant or not, he's a bloody idiot. That'll be Cooker, then. <laughs> Shh. Well, let's get this down us. We have a long way to go. Hey, you. Uh oh. Uncle? Sorry. Blitz. Can you walk, Your Grace? What's wrong? I fear trouble may be brewing downstairs. Oh, and no, I'm too far removed. Be fez nasty. You two are travelers, are you not? <laughs> Me and my companions are strangers here. <laughs> Perhaps you'd be good enough to accompany us a while. Help us find our way. <laughs> Sorry, lads, but we've got business in camera that can't wait. Ah, I'm sure you could spare us an hour or two. Come on, come on. Come on. 
friend. The uncle is such a good character, dude. Oh. It's an enemy. It's the outlaw. Take him. Are you crying? <laughs> Try it. Oh, frick, his boy died. Gosh, dude. Frick. Trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sit there chowing down. Word of advice, miss. That soup could do with a touch more salt. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Ads are done. Guag, thanks for the dollar. Now's our chance. Your Grace? I'm fine. Okay, Phoenix Feather. Clive? Dude, he realizes J Joshua's here. What is it now? Dude, it's so good, man. It is nothing. Let's go.
Dasher doesn't like vegetables. Oh, from the beginning of the game when they try to feed it to him. Oh yeah, well, yeah. The beginning of the game, they said he doesn't like carrots in his in his uh, lore thing. The, the beginning of the game. That guest is in the fang. We should press on before any more of their friends turn up. At the beginning of the game, it said, oh, "Yeah." Interesting. Dude, this game is so good, man. It it, it just is, like. Like, it, it sets that up, like, just so far in advance, man. Oh, so maybe, maybe it's Ultima that's making him bleed out of his mouth? Was he doing that before Ultima? He also left his carrots when eating with death. Yeah, I thought it was just like a funny, like, he's a kid thing at first. Okay, so we gotta go down here, okay? Sean! Sean! Ah, they've closed the road. And it's the only way from here to the yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. It would seem Lord Kupka is not accepting visitors at present. Oh yeah, that's why he's like coughing up blood. Uh, not by force, I trust. We've attracted quite enough unwanted attention already. By guile then. Perhaps the desert hare can offer us her aid. Rosina Dalamil, woman of mystery. But how will we find her? We know naught of her but her name. And that she was working with Sid. Sid's other collaborators have all been people of means. The wealthiest and most successful members of their communities. I'll wager this Rosina Delamel is the same. That would certainly help to narrow the search. We need only inquire as to who is in charge of the town. And that's exactly what I mean to do. Light it for Gilbert's sake. You're a bearer, aren't you? Anything I can help you with, travelers? Allow me. My good man, we represent one of the oldest and greatest and trading houses of Port Isolde. We're seeking to expand the business in the region. Oh, nice. Grats on the stuff, dude. Grats on the floor and the table. And we'd like the acquaintance of Dalamil's leading entrepreneurs. <laughs> if only we knew where to find them. Hmm. Well, we're best known for our baths, our markets, and our smithies. I suppose you could do worse than start your search at one of those. Um, Thank you. I'm You've not sure here, man. Oh, um, you wouldn't happen to know a lady by the name of Rosina Dalamil, would you? No, I can't say I do. Well, thank you all the same. Thank you all the same. Somebody else here? A thousand gil for a measly bunch of dissolved greens. <laughs> I name my price. If you can't pay it, that's your problem. That's funny. You sure it looks badass? Yeah, I just wish it was a little bigger. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? I won't keep you long. I'm looking for someone. A woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. Do you know her? Never heard of her. Is that all? One more question. If I wanted to find the richest trader in town, where would you recommend that I look? Oh, that's easy. The Briar's Kiss. Don't find a finer smithy this side of the strait. The owner's only a young sprig, but he's got all the right ideas. The Briar's Kiss, you say? Thank you. I doubt this young sprig is the person we're looking for. You said Sid's contact was likely to be an influential sort. Influential. Influence comes with age and experience. Yeah, I wonder if you even get new armor. I mean, you got this armor pretty early, so surely there's gonna be one Looks more like armor. Looks like we won't be getting back to Drake's family. I guess it's not. It's not. I guess it's not for sure, but she, I guess he could I mean, have another armor. Can I help you? Yeah, it's a good point here, Ben. Yes, I'm looking for a woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. A long-standing pillar of your community, I believe, from old trading stock. Then you should ask further. He's been here for years. Knows the place and its people like the back of his hand. 
And he's in with all the old merchant families. Try the baths. That's where you'll usually find him. Thank you kindly. Well, it sounds like we have our man. Perhaps. Let's go and find out exactly what this Ferda knows. Hanging lanterns, keep the darkness from your door. Excuse me, are you Ferda? I am. Can I help you, travelers? I hope so. You've lived here for some time, is that correct? Do you know Rosina Dalamil? We believe she may be a trader of some renown. And what business do you have with the Desert Hare? Well, she was a close friend of mine. I was hoping she might be able to help me. Very well. Go to the Bordello. I'll arrange an introduction. Okay, I will then. Uh, Do let's you go this think way. we can trust him? No, only as far as I think. So you're the ones who've been sniffing around. Oh, here we go. I beg your pardon. Don't play the fool. Stick your nose in our business, and you're likely to lose it. Hey, stick your business in my nose, and you're likely to lose that too. How far in the story are you now? Uh, I would have, I have to be over 50%, right? Can someone look up like a chapter thing and see how far I am? Almost done with tutorial. Who are you working for? Him or her? Uh, uh, him. The, the okay. boss. He wanted us to test you. Though one could hardly call that a test. Lord Ferda? Look what the cat dragged in. Your skill with a blade is rare indeed, my lord. A fitting talent for an outlaw. You know who I am. So what now? Call in the men of the rock and collect the bounty? That isn't my decision to make. Our work is done. Take him to meet his precious Rosina. She will be interested to make his acquaintance. Yes, my lord. Sorry. To the Lock of Leisure, then. To the Lock of Leisure. My oh, hello, oh, another person to kill. Don't mind if I do. I can tell you right now I'm going to beat this dude's ass. I can feel it. Is this the place? Who was Forge? Yeah, Crisis Core remake kiss. is so good. So it was the young sprig after all. So much for Rosina Dalamil being a woman of experience. How wrong I was. It was an easy mistake to make, Uncle. After all, it must have been years since Sid last saw her. Sorry, him. Whoever this Lubor truly is, he's clearly a man of means. I'd say he deserves our respect. See that he gets it. Lubor, Lord Ferda told me to bring them to you. My boys tell me you're in need of assistance. Sid the Second? <laughs> I won't waste your time. 
I need passage through the south gate. <laughs> Tell me, what do you think is a merchant's most important commodity? Why, trust. Everyone knows that. Without it, you have nothing. <laughs> and nothing is exactly what you have. And so, for you, I do have nothing. I'm not in the business of helping every lost puppy that wanders in off the street. I'm a busy man, as you can see. Let's leave this mama to his farce. By all means. Find someone else to help you on your way. Just be sure to tell them you're not the two travelers from the inn the guards are looking for. Don't want them jumping to conclusions, do we? Why, you... So, what do we need to do to earn your trust? Hmm... I like Dude, this Yeah, I love one. this game, man. Willing to do whatever it takes to get what he wants. <laughs> Men like you have a special place in my heart. Why, you ask? Because they get me Yo. what I As want. Yo, thanks a ton for the raid, dude. What's Always. up, guys? Cutscene, 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 cutscene. Fine. How, so how far did Asmin get? Don't tell me you're going to listen to this swaggering scruff. We might as well hear him out. It's only natural that an ally of Sid's would seek assurances of strangers. Assuming he is an ally, of course. Five That's years Zach ago, he would have bed. still been a boy. Is he on cliffs? And yet Yo, even then, I had more Welcome good sense than a man... Oh, five times my age? But enough of the pleasantries. We were speaking of what I want. I want you to put an end to the trouble in Dalamil. Return to me when you have done so, and you shall have my aid. Until then, I bid you good day. What trouble? If you're going to give us orders, be clear about them, damn you. Byron is so good, Manus such a good character. Beard. One catches more damselflies with honey than with vinegar. What did you call me? My apologies. A word of advice in recompense. Follow the crystals. Oh, but that was three. Oh, I'm making this too easy for you. Follow the crystals. Just woke up, heard you beat time while I was sleeping. Will be easy. <laughs> Solving his little okay. riddle should be like dealing with him. Child's play. Let us divide our forces, Clive. I'd rather not drag this parlor game on any longer than we need to. <sighs> All right. Good luck, Uncle. Do you have a moment? And if you're new here, follow the stream. Turn on your notifications. It depends what for. Just a question. You like it here? You probably don't like it here. Dalamil seems to be thriving compared to the other villages I came through on the way. Wish list. Is there a reason for that? Well, we're a stone's throw from Drake's Fang for one. The soldiers guarding the Mother Crystal and the shipments need a place to spend their hard-earned guilt. The men of the rock throw their money about like there's no tomorrow. Is that so? Well, thank you. Don't let me keep you from your work any longer. What do you like so much about this game? I was thinking about getting it, but I haven't played any Final Fantasy before. Um, so do you have a PS5? If you have a PS5, go download the demo for free. Okay, unfortunately, Square did not sponsor me to play this. Which is a smart decision by them because I'm gonna freaking play through this whole thing anyway. But <laughs> what can I do for you, soldier? Download the Need demo. That sword polishing. It's amazing. I'm not a soldier. Oh, then be off with you. I serve the men of the rock and the men of the rock only. You have an agreement with them? Don't be stupid. I just know which side my bread is buttered. Don't want to be stuck under some pauper when they come knocking. With pockets deeper than Zemeckis and an urge to empty them. Dude, there's freaking no, whores everywhere, leave, dude. Will you? Before you scare them off. I think I'm starting uh, so to yeah. an idea of what's been going on. Download and play the demo for this. Uncle Byron's learned anything of use. 
They'll probably be back at the end by now. Um, the most fragrant herbs in the it's sky. literally the, the beginning of the game. It's like the first two, three hours of the game, and then you save your progress and it carries over. So if you like the game, I, I literally, I just think that should be the standard, man. I think, I think the way that Final Fantasy 16, if Square did the demo for Final Fantasy 16, uh, I think the way they did it was so good, it should just be the standard. It's so good. Hey, here you go. Here's the first couple hours of the game. It's like a 50 hour game. This is the first couple hours. You're gonna love it. And once you finish it, you save and then you continue your progress. It's so good. Man. All that crashing and banging about the, the, the story of the game is amazing. The dialogue is amazing. The combat, oh my gosh, the combat, dude. Like it's the build you. I came up with is unbelievable. It's so fun. What do you want? Haven't you caused so enough good. trouble already? I'm looking for my pal. Have you seen him? The gentleman who was with you? Yes, he's upstairs, but. Wait, is. Thank you. Wait, is Uncle Byron freaking getting with a whore? Will this suffice as a deposit? By the sands. That's a black pearl. One of the many treasures in my collection that I would be only too happy to part with, should you give me reason to do so. All right. I'm sure that we can come to an agreement. But not here. <laughs> the hell? What is going on with Uncle Byron? What are you doing, Uncle? Care to explain why you're giving gifts to Kupka's men? Bait, my boy. One cannot catch one's prey without it. And I do Uncle believe Eero that from Avatar? Does quite the quarry. I started by asking around the markets as to where I might purchase crystals. I had no luck, of course. It's forbidden to trade in such things. But my uncharacteristic indiscretion just happened to attract the attention of those uniformed ruffians. They took me aside and said they could procure the crystal I sought if I proved I could pay for it. So the pearl was your proof? <laughs> I thought they'd ask for more. A second-rate specimen like that would only fetch 500,000 or so. A small price to pay for admittance to the underworld. I love this game, JP. That's enough about my little act of subterfuge. What did you discover? That the supply of crystals has dried up of late. And some people seem to think they're being stolen. Meanwhile, members of Kupka's private guard have been spending money all over town. I'll wager those soldiers you've been talking to have been siphoning off crystals meant for elsewhere and pocketing the profits. I'll wager you're right. We'll meet with them then, just as you arranged, and put an end to the trouble Lubor spoke of. Ha! That preening Popinjay thought this would be difficult. It just goes to show one should never underestimate a Rosfield. We'll soon wipe that smirk off his face. Oh, I arranged to meet with the soldiers in a secluded corner of the Velcroy, far from prying eyes. The perfect place for a spot of double dealing. I trust I can count on your support if things turn sour. <laughs> of course. Let me treat you. I'm pretty flush these days. Are you now? Okay. I need to drink. Excuse me, gentlemen. Wait, how do I get out of here? Wait, how do I get out of here? No one switched to Prime? Yeah, I don't think anybody said Twitch Prime. Frick. The gate is closed. Well, then F you. Okay, if the gate is closed. Um. My order of Lord 
Kupka. Any attempt to gain passage to Drake's bag will be punished with arrest and incarceration. So by your leave. The gate is closed. By order of Literally blind? How? Check map again. Oh, I, I guess I go through the desert gate. No, I'm dumb. You're right. No, I was kind of, I'm getting tired, so I'm kind of tunnel visioning, you know? Hard mode replays where the content's at. You know, I wish it had like cross play, cross saving. Not cross play, but cross saving. Wouldn't that be cool? It's like you, you get a game, play it on PS5, but it saves to like a cloud that you can load up on Steam, you know? Is that a chocobo? It is. Look, chocobo. <laughs> what if I just launched myself off that? Dude, I haven't died. Chat, this is a no deaths, max damage, hardest difficulty, best build playthrough, okay? And I'm cruising. I might finish this I'll game on Sunday. Here. Tell me that if it's not the long way, it's the wrong way, true. Even though I'm almost done with the game. I was beginning to think you weren't coming, my lord. You've brought your contribution? All the silver and stones I could scrape together at such short notice? You brought the whole 500 talents. That was the price we agreed upon, yes? If you've no objections, I'd like to see the crystal. Of course. Right this way, my lord. Not bad at all. You weren't lying about the clarity. But what of security? If I were to be stopped on the road, what guarantee have I that it wouldn't be seized as property of the Republic? Because these crystals are no longer the property of the Republic. You're not buying from us. You're buying from them. And we have no more jurisdiction here than you, my lord. But we have ships and will gladly deliver to a port <laughs> that we are choosing. Ships. Now that we have our ships and giggles. Has been met. Royalists, eh? What brings you here? Why, to collect their share of Drake's Fang's blessing, of course. Our nations are allies, and so they are entitled to a portion of the Mother Crystal's bounty. And being such good friends, we elected to increase that portion and share the benefits. And now that these crystals are officially property of the Kingdom of Ulud, we are duty-bound not to interfere, no matter where they might happen to end up next. Did you get all that? They're in cahoots! <sighs> so it would seem. My lord! What is the meaning of this? What is the meaning Double of this? Double crossing dogs! They're not here to do business! They're not here Kill to do them. business! Kill them both! Okay, here we go. Okay, you want to see the big dam? I was, ta I was talking a lot of smack about my build. You ready? We're gonna see some big dam, big dam, big dam right here. Ready? Just getting warmed up. Just wait until I just wait until I have to fight somebody at this dagger.
Isn't it crazy? They got the guy who did the combat for Devil May Cry. They do the combat for this. And it was cool. Like, I got to meet him and Yoshi P. And uh, I, I went to the launch event. So I got to I got to actually meet those guys. Just to say hi for a second. That was cool. You know? Farewell. Nice. Dude, actually playing this makes me want to play Devil May Cry. I've never played Devil May Cry before. Well... That wasn't too bad. How'd you like my performance, huh? I've often played the villain on the stage. I think I did the role justice. Don't you? Graybeard, you were magnificent. The battle scene was particularly thrilling. Such a shame you didn't have more of an audience, but perhaps that's for the best. How long have you been watching? Long enough to witness your uncle's sordid transaction. I hardly expected one so venerable to degrade himself so thoroughly, buying one's way into the confidence of degenerates. Ingenious. This was the trouble you spoke of. The men of the Rock taking Crystal's men for the common folk and conspiring with the Royalists. Well, now it's over. Indeed it is. The people of Dalamil had scarcely any means of address against Kupka's men, let alone a foreign army. Until you two came along, that is. You look great today, thanks, man. Well, Heisenberg. we'd better get these crystals back to town. You won't mind waiting with them while I fetch a wagon. Is it on PS2? It's on PS3. Yeah, since they're doing drugs, no. Drugs name. is for losers. Clive. <laughs> so, Sid the Second is a Clive. <laughs> I suppose it could have been worse. Well, Clive, you held up your end of the bargain, so I must do the same. Passage through the South Gate, was it not? To tell the truth, you've helped a little there, too. Many of the guards have already been redeployed to deal with the issue of their missing comrades. And those left behind have been encouraged to look the other way should you attempt to pass through. Thank you. And please allow me to cover your costs. Uh, you still have the purse I gave to the soldiers, I trust. I saw you pluck it from one of the bodies. Oh, dear. Was I really so obvious? And my name is not Greybeard. It is Lord Byron Rosfield, thank you very much. No, nope. thank you very much. Greybeard. Double the... Ugh! Here, wear this. Uncle Byron is such a good character. You obtain the Desert Rose. Ooh. Any friend of mine who sees you with it shall be a friend of yours. Thank you, Lubor. And please, feel free to send one of my Stolases back to your people. Tell them that Rosina Dalamil is back in bed with Sid. Huh? Whom you lost, Elan, to his Achilles. Hedwig. I'm trusting you, Sid. Or should I say, Clive? So be sure not to let me down. I have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> Put it there, chat. Well then, I wish you a safe journey south. Thank you. Not at all. It was my pleasure. 
Come on, Uncle. Let's go. Follow the crystals. I'm following, I'm following. Got a meteorite. There it is. Drake's Fang. Drake's Fang. And I want to ask how much longer I have to go. Cuckoo will be hiding like, To get to the next good stopping point, but... I don't think Along anybody's farther than I am. knows how many guards, all on highest alert. You'll need to keep your wits about you if you're to reach him. So be careful. I will. Uncle. Before you go, Clive, allow me to apologize. <laughs> After what befell at Phoenix Gate and the crisis that followed in its wake, I fled. I retreated to my counting house and danced attendance upon the Vicerine in the hope it would bring me favor. Mm. ESF, we rise. I betrayed my yes, nation sir. to save my skin. Like the coward dark I am. am. And I'm sorry. Uncle, please. It's not too late, Clive. Rosaria is yours by right. And there are those that would help you to take it back. Had I the courage of my brother, I might already have done so. But that ship has sailed. You, however, no. Forgive me, but I cannot. I fight to build a new world now. A better world. Where men can live and die on their own terms. I was raised in a nation strove to improve the plight of bearers. Only later did I realize that spark of freedom did not arise by chance, but was kindled by my father. You would see me follow in his footsteps. And that is exactly what I mean to do. Oh, seven. Not by ruling Rosaria by extending his ideals to the whole of the twins. Though every soul in the realm may judge my actions heresy, I am certain my cause is just. You really are just like him, you know? Thank you, Clive, for coming back to me. I am proud to call you nephew. <sighs> well then, this is where we must part ways. Wish me luck in convincing my Canvarian friend to share his considerable talents. I mean to plunder his coffers and prove myself worthy of a place in your merry band. <laughs> Till then, my boy. Till then, go safely, uncle. And you, nephew. We have much to catch up on, you and I. I shall expect you to regale me with the tales of all your adventures when next we meet. <laughs> Leonix, think of the prime. You can regale me too, Torgal. <laughs> I'm coming for you, Kuka. Okay. Basically, what has happened? We are now in this new town. This is our new any hideaway gift area. Wide, hard to, any gift Clive is wide, the new Sid. Beers are like, thank you for the two gifted. Thank you, man. We are here. 
five years in the future now. Right now, we are in a quest chain where we fought another icon. We got Rama icon abilities, which is great. Uh, but then after that, we actually just got Titan. So we got the Titan, we got the Titan abilities, and we fought Hugo Kupka. We fought Hugo Kupka, and we uh, we did not kill him, but we stole his Titan abilities and we cut his hands off. We've been working on basically building the airship, right? Building building this versions of this game's this version of the High Wind, uh, and then we are going to the next Icon battle. I will finish either on Sunday or Monday. Oh, here we go. Cutscene time. Oh, look, new hands. Oh, they gave him prosthetic hands. Oh, oh. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What is this dirt? What has that gutter rat done to me? Oh, this is the guy that saved him. I'll kill you, Rossfield. I'll rip out your heart. I'll tear you limb from limb. Peace, Hugo. The table shan't hurt you any longer. Lord Commander of the Royal Knights. Me. me. If you hadn't interfered, he would be dead. You truly believe you would have triumphed had the battle continued? Titan would have ground him into dust. And how would he have done that without his head? Shut up! You weren't strong enough, and you call yourself a dominant. Or rather, you did. You mock me, Harbert. Do you see, Hugo? You are weak. Fuck! Mm. But so long as that fire burns within you, there is still hope. There may yet be a way for you to take your revenge. Tell me, what must I do? I love the voice acting, dude. Please, I'll do anything. Just... Tell me. The heart. What of it? A mother crystal's heart is the most concentrated source of ether in all creation. Perhaps you could take advantage of that. Of course, the crystal would not yield her blessing to any ordinary man. But then, you are no ordinary man, are you, Hugo? What's going on? Rossfield stole your power. I'll let you go for not that much longer. Too hard. And still managed to find the strength to conjure their icon. Like Benedicta Harmon. She too drank of the ether and gained a power beyond human understanding. She did. Benedicta. Benedict. Benedicta Cumberbatch.
You may leave everything to me, your majesty. What? Fresh blood. What the frick is happening? What? Orcs. Yo, Nick, think of the raid. What's up, guys? We're playing Final Fantasy 16. This game is, this is the best game ever, probably. It's amazing. Did the Royalists bring them from Ash? <laughs> Play the whole game while shitting on it to even the balance. <laughs> they paid you in firm handshakes, true. True, they did pay me in firm handshakes. I did meet Yoshi P. Orcish Warlord! This freaking. Okay, ready? Chat, everybody get your note cards out. Okay, everybody, everybody get your notes out. I'm not attacking until you guys have your notes out, okay? Ready? This is from Dodge Jump 2. Help me, boy. Too slow. Get your notes out, Chat. Get your notes out. Everybody ready? Oh, frick. Help me, boy. Ready? Okay. Times two. Okay, ready? And cranking, man. Oh my gosh. Holy, dude. Dude, insane. Figured out the meta? Dude, I think I did, man. Whatever. I'm fine. Oh, 
dude, I forgot to limit, bro. By the flames. Come on, Togo. Kuka never did do things by halves. As if taking the Mother Crystal for his own wasn't enough. He had to build his castle in it. <laughs> Let the trial begin. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of a lore check. Let's do a lore check in the meantime. Lord Harbard. Uh, Lord Commander of the Kingdom of Walud's armies. Harbard is known to many as the Constant Knight by reason of his unchangeably icy demeanor. Indeed, he appears to command Barnabas's complete trust, having been gifted full command of the Royal Order of Knights despite his apparent youth. The capacity in which he evacuated Huko Kupka from Rosaleth Castle, however, remains a mystery. Drake's Fang, one of the Velistia's five remaining mother crystals. Located in Dalmechian Republic. Wait, so there's four more mother crystals after this one? Unlike its sisters who jut from the earth to tower above the landscape, Drake's Fang is completely enclosed within the vast hollow of an ageless mountain. Excavation of these crystals has, over centuries, showered the Dalmex with substantial fortune, and as such is seen as a symbol of the nation's prosperity. Hugo Kupka, dominant of the icon Titan, warden of earth, on learning the identity of the one who slew his beloved Benedicta, he sends his forces to ransack Ros uh, Rosalith, capital city of Rosaria, and Clive's former home, in the hopes of drawing him out. Clive takes up the offer and is able to best Kupka in battle, cutting off his hands in the process. But before Clive can deal the finishing blow, the helpless Hugo is spirited away by a mysterious man from Walud. That would be Lord Har Har uh, Harbard. Castle Dasbog. A castle built within the dome-like mountain that contains Drake's Fang, it is the primary residence of Hugo Kupka, dominant of Titan, and is lavishly appointed to suit his extravagant tastes. Ooh. What the F, I was watching Nick and Melina and I came back to this. Wait, do you even know who I am? My name is S. Finn, and this is Luke Goblins. Not that spin, I know. Uh, no, I turned off my filter for once. Oh, precision dodge. Magic burst, magic burst, magic burst. Did I get railed? Okay. Ready? Combo time. Will the wikes? Lightning rod? Ignition! Gouge? I stagger so hard in university. Perry, big Perry! And the wind up? Precision dodge? Roll the likes? Precision dodge! Yep! Yeah. Precision dodge times three! Yes! Yes! Big damn, dude! Aw, oh, frick, I didn't get the big stagger, the big windup. That's oh, okay. Roll the lights. Precision dodge through. Ignition! Hell yeah. Dude, 
I'm gonna be honest. This is freaking max difficulty, no deaths, just freaking full on, like full go blast, right? Am I that good, or is the game too easy? I think it might actually be a little bit too easy. Small hands. My hands are not small. Seems we're expected. Yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, we were expected, I see. So this is the power of Muthos. Muthos? Muthos? It's like, uh, he's Mewtwo's older brother. He's Mew3. <clears throat> you alright? No. I haven't been alright for five years. I've been streaming. Okay. Ooh, cutscene, 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 cutscene. You've been busy, Koopka. Oh, I see you've been busy. But where did you go? to go. Chat, do you feel it? Where am I supposed to go? This is I'm supposed to go. This is I'm supposed to go there. Did I come from here? Where did I come from? Yeah, I came from here. I said, please, a small door. Well, yeah, but I, I'm, I was like exploring a little bit. Did you take out for wind up? Uh, Scarlet Cyclone. When it took you, my everything. I, I've missed you so much. Koka! I swear to you, my love. We will never be parted again. What's wrong with him? Wait, Ifrit? Big juice is coming, yes. Find him. You've done this before. You can do it again. 
Yeah, whip it out. Let the flames burn with Bring out the effort, dude. No. Let them burn with the house. Come to me, Henry! Morgan time. Okay, here we go, dude. Is this Naruto? No, this is amazing is what this is. You get done punch, thank him for the one year. Derry Coey, thank him for the two months. Legendary Spork, thank him for the two months. Okay, here we go, big, big icon battle. Ifrit versus Titan. This game is so good, man. Precision dodge? Okay, I just got railed. I got railed again. Stagger? Nice. 45, no, 454k stagger damage, okay? Phase two, phase two, phase two, phase two. So good, dude. Nice trick. Seems like you were doing more damage to head upper body. If you're in the air, your aerial attacks do more damage. But if you could do it, then so could I. You've learned brimstone. Wait, I learned a new ability. Is it for it? Uh, 
Five is learning the ability Brimstone. Hold and release R2 plus square to emit a violent explosion. The longer you hold it, the longer your size and strength explodes. Press X at any time to cancel. Ifrit is invulnerable to damage while charging Brimstone. So if you're attack, however, will automatically triple the... Oh, okay. Let's give this a try. Okay. Okay, I tried to do it again. Because I was on cooldown. He's gonna jump at me and then I'm gonna precision dodge. Backdraft finish. Precision dodge again. Precision counter. Precision dodge times two. Time three. Earth Shaker, great weapon. Precision Brimstone. Okay, that's the big damn, dude. That's massive damage. Backdraft finish. Fireball burst, fireball burst, fireball. Okay. I should have saved my deal. Who's this dick? Big damn, big damn, big damn, big damn. Oh man, I almost didn't get it. What is he doing? Wait, what is he doing to him? <laughs> hey, you good? <laughs> um. Normally true. Today we'll cut it short and then we'll come back later. Yeah, dude, we did 500k damage on that stagger, by the way. Wait, did he just did he just eat the crystal? What did he do that crystal? Did he eat it? trying to run back. Why are you running at him? Stop running at him. <laughs> I don't want to fight him. Stop. Come on, man. Oh, wait. This is sick, dude. This is like the Sonic Adventure 2. Running around at the speed of sound. Oh, frick. Got places.
Does Orange Football stop catching the rocks? Okay. I jumped, I jumped. Oh wait, this is cinematic. <laughs> I actually jumped and I was like, wait, why can't I move? Oh, great. Uh, nah, it's not cinematic anymore. Dude, Avatar the Last Turd Vendor. Oh no! I think they, I think they give you way too long to dodge those. Like it's like ridiculous for too long. Big damn, big damn, big damn, big damn, and his precision dodge? Like we're like not really doing a lot of damage to him. Backdraft finish. Okay, good. Dagger, okay. Big backdraft finish, dude. Brick! I, oh, I barely didn't get that off. Uh, still 621k. That was still my biggest. I bet it would have been even bigger, dude.
Dude, this is so good. Swing, fireball. Fireball burst, fireball, come on. Come on. Instead of fighting each other, you guys should just be friends. Actually, that's a better idea. Okay, big dam coming. Stagger, dude. Holy, huge. I kind of want to miss it just to see what happens, but I haven't died yet, except for that one time. Yeah, I should use Brimstorm more often. It has a really short cooldown. I was like saving it. Did that hit him or no? his ass, aren't we? Yeah, we're doing good, dude. Fireball, 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 fireball. I'm getting a stagger down. You see that? Okay, this is it. This is the big stagger right here. The stagger was not done yet. 816,000 and there was still tons of bar left. I think it forced him into the next phase. I didn't even get to do my, what? I forced him into the next phase when I finished the combo. What the hell? Nice. Yeah, give it to him. Yeah. Hell yeah. Dude, these icon fights are so sick, man. Nice. Dude, I love this, man. This is so good. This game's amazing. Game loves bitrate. Is it like, is it just super blurry for you guys? Oh, 
was fine. Really? Okay, that's good. What am I shooting at? Oh, wait. Oh, 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 wait. What? I have like a targeting reticle? What the heck? It's FPS. going on? Where am I? Where are my pants? Someone help. Yeah! Nice! Let's go! Dude, this game is insane, dude. This game is actually insane, dude. Wait, again? Precision dodge? Dude, this is kind of bad because I'm a little bit... I need I to make sure you use Brimstone. Dude, it's hard for me to read his attacks, actually. Dodge. Okay, dodge times two, good. We're on dodge now. Dodge three, okay, good, let's see. Dodge four, nice. I got the rhythm, I got the rhythm, I got the rhythm. I think. That's a hard one. Stagger, big stagger. Did I hit him? Dude, he just freaking split the crevasse, dude. You see that? This isn't gonna be good. How am I gonna dodge this? Precision dodge times two! Times three! Times four! I have no healing left. I have one healing left, actually. Times five! Times six! Times seven! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Eight! Nine! Oh my 
my gosh, dude. Oh my god. Ten! Woo! Into the stagger! Big brimstone! 802,000 in the air! Times 11 dodge! Times 12 dodge! Hell yeah! Dude, this is so sick! Cinematic evasion? Dude, give him the big damn right here. Boom! I hate good gamers, my bad. <laughs> what was that? So is this gonna make me crazy huge like it made him? Oh no. Is this bad? Is this Giga? Incredible. I love it, dude. I love it. Okay, Chad, get cozy. We got cinematics probably for like 30 minutes. Wait, hey, let me double check the uh, commercial break time. We're good. We're good for 15. Midnight Joe. Oh, there he is. Is this final boss? No, this is a mini boss. So this is not Joshua. Who is this? Wait. Is that you? Is that Ultima? Ultima? What do you want? Your soul is tainted with worthless human will, yet your thirst for power remains undiminished. With every sip you take, this? you that grow That fight scene looked real as hell, I young. And soon you shall achieve perfection. I don't know. What you're talking about? You will accept us, Mythos. It is inevitable. Who's Mythos? 
You were created for this purpose, and you shall serve it. Never! that supports it. No matter. The time to build a new world is not yet upon us. We will contemplate. Dude, this game is insane, man. One can no more command the power of ether by drowning in its flood than one can constrain the tides by standing in the sea. I had thought Hugo wiser than this, but it seems his head was full of rocks after all. Titan was strong. Your Majesty, Mythos is stronger. For five years, that man lived only for revenge, clinging fast to a fiction even as it swept him into the abyss. I think it said Barnabas is Odin earlier. Nature yeah. through force of will alone. Only the Almighty can do that. Hugo. Didn't it say Barnabas is Odin? Odin? Yeah, yeah. King of Walud and dominant of Odin. The Warden of Darkness. Kupka, the man who gave his life for a woman's head. A fool like all the rest. Of a mother crystal. It just Should ended, Squeagle. So beautiful. The death of a mother crystal. So there's four more? Was there five more or four more mother crystals? Some medicine, my lord? Salves, potions, anything you need. Stop bothering me, urchin, or you'll feel the back of my hand. You must consider your health, my prince. If a show of force is needed to keep the Dalmex at bay, you may trust in your dragoons. I beg you to call on Bahamut only as a last resort. Strength comes at too great a cost. The Empire agreed to an armistice with the Republic, and yet the Emperor still plots its ruin. For now, the Dalmex suspect nothing, and as long as I can hold their gaze, war need not be inevitable. 
But more than that, Bahamut is the champion of the Empire. When our people look to the heavens, the sight of him gives them hope. Forgive me, Terence. Would that you were my master. But alas, I will always be your loyal servant. I looked away for like two seconds. Two dudes kissed before <laughs> before the guy and the girl kissed. <laughs> That's funny. Like it teased, it teased the guy and the girl kissing like the whole game. <laughs> and then it <Japan. laughs> The Council's brazen okay. maneuvering prompt the Republic to tear up their own treaty and launch a new assault. Our soldiers would advance to meet them, cutting across the central aisles, but not in time to prevent their forces from breaching the southern defenses and storming Twinside. And so the capital would become a battlefield. Thousands of innocents would die. I cannot allow that to happen. There is one small mercy, at least. You will not be forced to do battle with Titan. <laughs> thank you, Risky Business, for three months. Or tier three, by the way. Thank you, Risky Business, for 20 months. A thousand pounds. And Axiomander, thank you Axiom for the 15 months. Thanks, guys. What is it? has been made emperor. What is the meaning of this? My father's orders. What were they? Quickly! Uh, yes, your highness. His radiance requests that your highness maintain position here and... Gah! Yes, my prince. I must go to the palace. Already your steed. What is it now? Forget oh, hello, me. Joshua. Yes, I know you. We stand in the presence of the Phoenix. You wouldn't want to get your fingers burned. I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. <laughs> Though I admit, I did not expect such a distinguished guest. <laughs> How many years has it been since the Remembrance Ceremony? Twenty. I thought you long dead. That's trash like one hour. Do I address a ghost? Many have told me that I look like one. But no. I'm alive. Just. <laughs> Prince Dion of the House Lesage. I have a tale to tell you. Yes, I will stream after. I'll probably I'll probably do the next segment of the game. Wait, so they're gay? <laughs> I 
10 minutes later. <laughs> They're putting chemicals in the ether. <laughs> they turn the freaking video games gay. <laughs> okay, I will say this. I'd better give Otto the good news. You know what I don't get? People complaining about, oh, the characters. Like, why do all the characters look so, like the male characters look like super fem feminine, right? I have to look up what feminine meant. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They're like, oh, the characters look so feminine. It's like, dude, this is like, it's a different, there's different like beauty standards in different countries, right? Like different, like it's, it's literally just different countries have different like standards of beauty. So like, in, in, in Asia, it's just kind of like that. It's like, you know, the guys are like very slender and like, this, it's just how it is, right? Like facial hair isn't really a thing very often, you know, it's just different. But like, if you look at Clive on the other hand, Clive is like this, Clive is more like traditional, like, like uh, American handsome. You know what I mean? Like Clive's like a Giga Chad. And even he's like, he's like not like ridiculously huge. But like you can see, you know what I mean? Like he has still anime hair, yeah, but I mean it's a, it's a Japanese game. But like he has facial hair and all that stuff. Final Fantasy has a long history of making their male characters feminine masked. Clive is an exception since this game is targeted towards Western audience, its audiences. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe that's what it is, but different countries consider different things like different beauty standards. Dude, I'm telling you, man, this is, this is, uh, this game has been absolutely amazing so far.